Glaciers and Glacier Landforms Glacial View This is a view of an active trunk glacier with associated tributary glaciers. There is more snow accumulation than melting, so the glacier is growing. Post-Glacial View When there is more melt than snow accumulation, the glacier recedes. The landscape reflects the years of glacial erosion. Main Glacier This is the largest flowing area of the glacier. Medial Moraine When a small tributary merges with the main trunk glacier, the debris on the lateral moraines becomes lines of material carried along in the main glacier. Truncated Spurs a glacier will cut away layers of rock and surface soil as it moves downhill. Truncated spurs can be seen where hillsides are bisected by the glacier. Horn The peaks associated with glaciers. Horns are sharp after years of glacial erosion. Cirque At the peak of the mountain, the valley in the snow accumulation area of the glacier is enlarged and hollowed out by glaciers, producing a rounded cirque valley. Arete. An arete is a sharp, knife-like divide or crest formed between two cirques by alpine glaciers. Coal. A natural pass or low notch in an arete between opposed cirques. Paternoster Lakes. These are a series of lakes strung together by a single stream or braided stream system. These occur where a glacier has receded and is created by terminal moraines. Hanging Valley This valley is formed by a tributary that ends at a cliff above a larger trunk glacial valley. Hanging Waterfall A waterfall that forms in a tributary hanging valley falling into the valley formed by the main trunk glacier. U-shaped glacial trough. After the trunk and tributaries of a glacier recedes, a U-shaped glacial trough remains.